How do you do? Welcome back to the show. So we do have a few things to talk about, although not many. Yes. And Oops. I guess once we are done talking about these things, we're just going to take questions. We, Woo! we used to do that. I mean, this is actually something we used to do every so often when there were no topics. I feel like there hasn't been no topics in a while, though. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. So actually, this might be kind of cool to be able to do this again. So, yeah. So... Send tweets to at Ultra Chen TV or... Yeah, and use hashtag Tuesday Show. Let's oh. get that trending. Yeah, yeah. baby. Because that'll right, totally man. happen with our 500 viewers. I'm sure, it's going to be great. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, yeah, just tweet them. I don't know. Don't bother with the email. Yeah, That's uh, probably... Whatever. Yeah, don't email. Don't email. Just, uh, just, uh, just tweet. Just tweet. But... That's going to be in a bit. So start sending those important questions now. Ooh, yeah, be... I know, right? Anyway, we'll see how it goes. So, this last, past weekend, there was a tournament. You can see the name up here. True Salt. Buenos Aires. True Salt. There's more, but the comment, etc. did not fit in my Bummer. thing up there. So. Uh, this all right. was in Argentina. This was part of the Latin America scene. And uh, although, I, I, I just want to say that watching the stream, I thought the stream was run really well. They definitely yeah. had a little bit too high of a bit rate for their video, though. Ah. Because that's what's causing a little bit of the lag that, that was happening oh, from really? time okay. to time. Yeah. But um, outside of that, like, I really thought that it was an awesome production. I thought they did a really great job there. Really glad to see them, uh, uh, you know, putting on some great events down there. I absolutely agree. Mm -hmm. So there were a few different games, and there were folks who traveled, well, at least one folk who traveled from North America. Mm -hmm. uh, Street Fighter Five results. Seventh place is Old Trussy. What Old a name. Old Trussy. Old Trussy. I love it. With Cammy. Seventh place also, also TSG GX Picoro with M Bison. Mm -hmm. Fifth place is AAG Didimo KOF with yes. Dalsum and DM Mysterio with Karen. Mm -hmm. Fourth place F3 Brolino with Nikali and Bison. Third place GGL Flash with Yurian, Laura, and Rashid. Second place Umbrella HK Dash with M Bison. Yeah, and then winner Echo Fox Justin Wong with Karen. And in the winners in the winners side, when HK Dash and Justin Wong fought, if I saw it correctly, HK Dash went up two zero against Justin, and Justin had to come back three games in a row to actually send him into losers bracket. If I'm not Dang. mistaken, Justin did win three two. Yeah, so HK Dash was. Really, actually, sick. He was really good. I mm -hmm. was really impressed with mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And again, it's just signs showing like how strong these players are all Everywhere. over the world. Yeah, exactly. So. Everywhere. So nice for Justin to win a big event. Mm -hmm. Flash again travels somewhere outside of North America and again makes it really deep into that topic. I, yeah. like, I feel like that's happened like every month. Yeah. He's somewhere. Mm -hmm. He's, mm -hmm. It's just nice work. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously Berlino is a good player. I really did like HK Dash. Uh, and super happy for Mysterio yes, as well. Mysterio yeah. did a good job. He's definitely trying his best to... I mean, like I said, he qualified for CPT last year. He just couldn't make it out because of uh, uh, visa issues. So it's kind of shitty. Ninth place included Panda TV Dark Jiwa. Oh, man, he traveled to that as well. He's everywhere. <laughs> Wants points. He yeah, just he wants does. his points. Well, he's still working on that. Mm. King of Fighters 14, seventh place, El Bocha KOF. Seventh, also Charlie with Leona, Yori, and Meitin Kun. Fifth place, Diego. There's probably too many characters to say the names. Diego RC4, fifth place. And fifth place, Leo Puche. Mm -hmm. Fourth place, SK Gasti Solano. Third place, Chechi. Second place, SK Necro. And winner, DM Mysterio. Okay. Oh, Joe lost in pools to Didimo KOF. Also nice. Okay. Wow, okay. sick. Yeah. Where is where is Joe in that ranking? C -c -c Keep going with the results, but I just really want to see where he is. Yeah, that'd be interesting to know. Second seven, seventh place, Cypros with Fang. Seventh place also Angel SNK with Yoshimitsu. Fifth places were Gonzabu with Dragonov and Josie. And Hizoka Sama with Brian. Fourth place, BM uh, Leito94 with Steve. Third place, Echo Fox Justin Wong. Wait, in which game? Tekken 7. Really? He won? No, he got third place. Oh, he got third place. He's oh, okay. always played Jack. Continues to do so. Second place, Lucky Crow Kicks with Lucky Chloe and Law. Winner was Lux oh, with interesting. Kazuma. So, uh, Luis Sta says that... It's actually Didi Mokov 
and I guess KOF is not it's not KOF like he's a KOF player. Really? So it's actually Didi Mokov. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, that is good to know. Uh, so Jiawa is number forty two. Bummer. So he's still out of it. He has three hundred and fifty points. And what's the lowest currently qualified amount? Four hundred and fifty. So That's quite a road. It, yeah, he could still. Mm. I mean, one good placing at a premiere. But I mean, that's one good placing at a premiere, which is always a rough, rough time. So, oh, oh it is from it's KO. A pun. It's a pun with a pop. Is it popular, like a Portuguese uh, pun that I wouldn't know? That's actually kind of cool. I'm happy about that. Nice, cool job. man. How many points does Flash have? He's, he's actually gotta be he's at four hundred and seven, so he's also still out of there. But he's right in between Jawa and thirty first place, like literally right in the middle. Okay, dang, Mago's not even in it. Dang, I don't feel like Mago's been traveling. Shaohai's not in it. I don't think he's been. He doesn't seem like he's been traveling yeah. that much. But there also hasn't been a lot of Asian events yet. The mm. Asian events are all coming up soon. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> and then Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, seventh place, Boneless Chris G. <laughs> With Morgan the, Doom Virgil. It's the all skin version, all skin and meat of Chris G. I think that's Chris G. Yeah, I know. I it's like already <laughs> Chris G. Yeah. Uh, but okay, Boneless Chris G. Seventh place, also GB Nano with Nova, Spencer Doom. Fifth, Shuma MKZ with Nova, Shuma, and Super Scroll. That was a pretty weird, a crazy team. Yeah, I know. I watched this top eight. Oh, did you? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Fifth, Shadow with Nova, Doom, Scroll, and Hagar, Dante, Wesker. Fourth was VIH, Pantufla with Firebrand, Dormammu, and Ami. Third place, Pachinko with Captain America, Taskmaster, Virgil, and Wolverine, Taskmaster, Virgil. Second place, Echo Fox, Justin Wong with Wolverine, Storm, Akuma. Mm-hmm. Winner of the whole thing, Kane Blue River. With Hulk, Sentinel, and Hagar. Yeah, there was supposed to be an exhibition between those two as well oh, yeah? in Marvel. I don't know what the results of that were, but yeah, shout out to King Blue River continuing his uh, Marvel domination. Yeah, man, nice work. I mean, again, him and Chris G both won and then got second place the next year. So, I mean, he's still pretty strong, so there you go. Um... Anyway. I watched the top eight just because I wanted to see Hulk smash, and that was cool, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Uh, everybody else was doing cool stuff, too. Yeah, actually, I did talk to KBR, and he he played a lot of Infinite at uh, at the Festa game, and he's not fond of it right now. Oh, okay. But, you know, I told him, I was like, you know, it's the same thing I told Ryan LV at, like, final round this year. I was like, I looked at Ryan LV, I'm like, the game's not going to play anything like Marvel 3, and this is before yeah. we knew anything really about oh, it. Yeah. And I was like, you're going to hate it. And I was like, but if you want that sponsorship and all that stuff like that, you're just going to have to, like, l- learn to play the game, you know what I mean, in a way. Because that, that was where the conversation was, right? We were sitting there talking about sponsorships, and I was just oh, like, I see. if you want that sponsorship, that's how you're going to have to do it. Basically. Yeah, that's true. So, but also, you should just go into a new game expecting it to be a new game and right, not to exactly, play like anything exactly, else. You, whether exactly. you're sponsored or not, you should just not think it's going to be the same right. game, because it won't be. Right. So that was uh, Argentina. Right. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't mean, like, play games that you don't like. It's just mostly that it's, we see it right now with all the Street Fighter 4 players trying to transition to 5, and we saw it with all the Street Fighter 3 players trying to transition to 4. Yeah. Like, you have such a fixed idea of what you expect out of the fighting game that you will hate it at first. And if you really take the time to understand why that fighting game is different than the one that you played... Yeah. You might actually really enjoy it, as in the case of someone like Gustavo, who really liked four and hated five, right. but now all of a sudden he's one of those people out there that's like, five's really not that bad, guys. Like five is yeah. actually good, you know. Well, so. and he, he makes the he makes the point too that you shouldn't expect it to be the same. And look, if you if you try a new game and you don't like it, that's fine. There's nothing yeah, wrong yeah, with yeah. that. Uh-huh. But don't don't dislike it because it's different than the previous right. game. Uh-huh, exactly. That is a yeah. dumb reason. Yeah, that's... That thank is you. a dumb that's, reason. That's basically the, the what But I if you don't like some actual things in the game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. obviously that's fine. Right. Up to you. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, there you go. But yeah. I like it. Yeah, I'm... I'm... I know. <laughs> I, I like it. I, I liked it. I mean, I didn't play it for two months after Injustice came out. Not uh-huh. because I didn't like SF5, but because you I was just, just cracking out at Injustice. Uh-huh. Yeah. But since Abigail came out, I've been 
playing a lot of uh, SF5 Man. Right. Anyway, anything else to talk about? I know there's a couple of things. Uh, there was also the Pokken World Championships oh, yes. uh, that happened this weekend. And it was crazy because I went to Wednesday Night Fights last week and like Trebaley was there and Chris Seglio was there and like all these people. I was like, what the hell is going on? They're like, we're all here for Pokken ah. World Tour. So they were all there basically to, 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 to run that. So Interesting. Uh, they were all here and uh, that took place this weekend. So at the... In Anaheim, apparently there was also a special event there for Pokemon Go where you could only catch certain Woo! Pokemon like that's normally only in Australia, so they Woo! released them there in Anaheim. Yeah, so there was a bunch of stuff going there, but okay. interesting results cool. here. Um, so seventh place was Labib Slipping Bug Hack uh, from the U.S. with Pikachu Libre, and Jose Manuel X Absoluted San Juan Carreno with Lucario from Spain. Cool. Right. Uh, fifth place was Yuki Apollo Horiguchi with Gengar and Thomas Thulius McLaren with Mewtwo from the U.S. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now, that's pretty much the end of all the other countries. Dang. Because fourth place was Motochika Elm with Nabeshima. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Nabeshima with Suikune uh, and Mewtwo. Or is it Suikun? Suikun? Yeah. Suikun. Okay. Third place was Takuma Azazel Araki with Machamp and Sceptile. Second yeah. place, what? Oh, I'm just happy for the big body. That's oh, all. okay, okay, okay. Second place was Fujio Fujioka uh, Mikuki Homura Shuhei from Japan with Chandelure. And first place was Hisaharu Tonosama Abe from Japan with Breaks, Breaksen? Breaksen, there you go. You did a great job with most of those names, man. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You you I, rolled the crap out of that R. Dude, I, you, I had like three <laughs> years of Spanish. Come on, come on, man. Oh, nice work. Nice work. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. Tom but, yeah, takes Japan it. is uh, to five top five spot. I mean, like there was a few other. Yeah, there was a few other Japanese players, but they essentially took one through five, and you know, tied with a U.S. player. And then uh, seventh place was uh, U.S. and Spain. So shoutouts to Azazoma Champ. Yeah, I actually watched some of that. Like, I actually don't know anything about Pokémon. My Pokémon is still in its plastic sealed upstairs, and I just never played it. And like, I, I believe there's a like the there's a beta coming out on the Switch. Like either yeah, today the DX or tomorrow. Version, or something. I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I actually never played it. So like, I'm watching. I still like don't know what's kind of going on. But yeah. like. It's a good game. I know about the phase shifting and all that stuff like that. It was just really fascinating to watch. It was like one of the first time I actually sat down oh, and really? watched like some long, like long term watch. I just watched the grand final because I wanted to see what it looked like. Yeah. And yeah, there's some like, that game looks like there's a lot of cheap stuff. It's super it? cheap, dude. I, I mean, I haven't played the game in a year, not since last Evo. Uh. uh but I'm sure it's quite different. But yeah. uh, uh, it was super interesting. No doubt. Yeah. Very interestingly mm -hmm. designed. Super cheap. Mm -hmm. Super cheap. I'm yeah. sure it's gotten way cheaper too because like even month two or three like I had and a lot of people had unblockable setups and <laughs> inescapable grabs yeah. and resets that were total BS and I'm sure it's gotten wilder. So. Right. It's a very interesting game for sure. It was, uh, I mean, I, I've said this ever since the game came out. Yeah, I remember. I think it's, it's one of the most underrated games of this generation. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I, I, I know, I think one of the things that kind of held me back, honestly, was I was waiting to get my Pokémon controller, and I just never grabbed one. I never managed oh. to pick one up, so, like, I just never had the opportunity. But now that's coming out on the Switch, I mean, I'll probably pick it up for there and see if I can start it from there. And yeah, see what happens. hey, man, you bought ARMS, so you should probably... <laughs> Get an actual fight. I mean, game. I don't say that. I don't. Oh, dang. I don't say that because I dislike arms. I'm just. I say that because I still haven't touched it outside of the time that we played it. I think like, it sucks. I just haven't had a chance to, like, do anything. The game with is a pile of poops. You really, I mean, have you tried it more than just what we were doing? Or. Yeah, I played with my brother a little bit. Oh, did you? Oh, maybe like, okay, okay. Maybe like 20 minutes. Okay, and okay. After 20 minutes, I just. It's just not a good game. I'm just very I, sure know, it's not. I'll tell you right now, the, the, num <laughs> the, the number one, if there's anything that's going to kill Nintendo, if there's any reason Nintendo is going to die a smoldering bloody death in the terms of the video game market, it's because they don't let you remap buttons. Yeah, like, God, a bunch of idiots. stop it. Like, Nintendo, just come to the modern times. Like, I play all the, like, I play all these games and, like, 
I'm one of those people that like when I play video games because I'm so emotional and I just get intense that I like like you know when you play Mario Kart and like you want to turn hard you feel like you hit the the analog stick harder even though it doesn't do anything like you you, you like start moving to the side like with more strength even though it doesn't okay so I'm like one of those people so like when I play all these games I keep clicking on the analog stick so when I'm playing Zelda, I'm running, and all of a sudden I go into crouch, or I go zoom into, like, first-person mode, and I'm like, oh my god, and I die. You know, like, this happens to me in, like, a whole bunch of different games. Even when I'm playing Splatoon, like, you click on the R stick to activate your super, and so I'll just be running around shooting things, and then all of a sudden a super comes out of nowhere, and I'm like, dang it, I'm just trying to move the camera. But if I could just remap the button. Yeah, no, totally. I could just remap the button. Totally. Uh, yeah, I mean, the controls are a significant part of why I think ARMS is a bad game, but uh, it's also because I think that it's like very poorly weighted with respect to how worth it is Is it to throw a punch. Right. Uh, I think it's not. Right. It's basically right. not worth it to throw a punch. I don't think you get mm. like any advantage for getting punch in other than the slight damage, uh, uh. but you take a huge risk. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like a very poorly designed game. Uh, anyway, what else is going on? Uh, all right, let's go over here. Um, we also have the Capcom Pro Tour Asia 3 event that took place this weekend. And the results are seventh place was Comfat with Ken and uh, Hizmet with Yurian. Fifth place was Aaron Manurung with Nash and Vega and Leslie from with Rashid. I'm assuming that's the same Leslie from Singapore, a uh, Sagat player. That would be cool. Uh, fourth place was Dixon with Vega. Third place was TJ Mind RPG with M. Bison, Nikali, and Balrog. Second place, Brandon with Akuma. And first place, Mr. Razor Sien, who had the dirtiest Ibuki reset. I don't know if you saw. Mm. Like, the, the, you can hear the commentators. They're like, they're not really paying attention to the match. And, and Sien is getting destroyed, I'm assuming, by Mind RPG because it was an M. Bison. Okay. And he got drained within a block. And then Sien landed one crouching medium kick into Bomb. And they're like, oh, oh, here comes the comeback. And... Did the combo, did the left-right mix-up, looked like he was going to throw, but did towards medium kick, and the guy threw, and then he hit him with the combo and did a reset into fuzzy guard jump light kick by juggling the bomb, like, twice. Like, he, like, launched him, had the free juggle, hit light kick that whiffed, but hit the bomb to bounce it up, then did back strong to hit the bomb and M. Bison to okay. reset him so he landed, and then when he landed, he did neutral jump light kick, which fuzzy guarded him, and then the bomb blew up. And then the guy, the commentator was like, this is not going to kill it. Oh, this is, oh my God, he's dead. <laughs> and, the guy, and he died, dude. It was wow. All right. so... Wow, cool, man, I got to check that out. Dude, it was so, I think I saw it on like a high fight replay uh -huh. thing, but dude, I was just like, Sick, God, right, I gotta check that out. stupid CN, stupid, stupid character, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, it was really, really good. <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe if I could find it, maybe if I could find it, I mean, why not look for it at this point in time, so. Um, yeah, so there's a Hong Kong premiere event this weekend, there's also Absolute Battle in Texas, in Dallas, I'll be going there. Oh, you're going to Absolute Battle, Sick. As, as okay. of like literally two days ago. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm nice. all of a sudden going there, it turns out. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, there's going to be Street Fighter and Injustice and all the things you expect. A lot of good players over there, and I'm sure that will be in HK as well. I can't. Oh, God. I mean, because there's been so much information at Gamescom, he has been tweeting out so much stuff. He, so. That dude is uh, very, he, very busy on the Twitter. Uh, wait. Is this the wrong one? Oh, I think I might be looking at the wrong one. No, this is the right one. This is definitely the right one. This. Oh, I see. That I, I. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got. I got. I, I see what I'm doing wrong here. I. Not sure what you're doing. Sorry, guys. Keep talking. Keep talking. And I'll <laughs> pretend to like. What, what, what just happened? What are, you, what are you doing, man? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Look, <sighs> okay, okay. Go to go to tweets. This, this is super easy. Just click on the thing. Yes. Right. Uh-huh. Hey, you're on his page yeah, now. Yeah, okay. I was trying to go to his page earlier. Oh, God. These computers, man. <laughs> Dude, there's so much footage from Gamescom on his 
on his uh, on his page right now. It's like gonna be super hard to find this uh, CN this Ibuki footage. Because literally, like from the story trailer, I think. He All right. Gets... So actually, just click on the link that people have put in the chat. Oh, someone actually put it in the Thank chat. Thank you to oh, Dr. Okay, Karate okay. and to Kainag. Okay. And now to Gigafi. Now they're just copying it from the inside there. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's do this here. Uh, screen capture. Pow. There we go. Okay. Let's just fill up the screen with this sucker here. Yeah, the mouse is the clicky thing. I know it's called a mouse. All right, here we go. And it's not what you would expect. It's, it's not true. Yeah, it's it it zero. <laughs> you yeah, either get blocked. You either block or you don't block. So, so, the, so, so the worst thing about Ibuki's uh, like ES Kunai. Oh god, it's wow. like totally wow. lagging right now. Shout outs to your RAM. Well, it's this always happens whenever XSplit is running. The web just gets like super slow, super slow. I don't know why that happens. Uh, ever since that one update, so. Is there a GIF under it? Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's just do this one then. So here we go. Watch this. He does this, kicks the oh. bomb, back oh. me and punch. Oh, oh! I mean, that's just like it's really cool. Cause watch, he gets this juggle here. He whiffs that kick. Yeah. Just to juggle the bomb, so he can back medium punch the bomb up and get the reset. That's pretty. Into cool. fuzzy guard, pow. That's dirty. Dude. That is pretty sick, actually. That's dirty. That is pretty cool. That's dirty. So there you go. All right. Yeah, that is cool. It's broken. 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 Oh yeah, and I said, speaking of broken, okay. I just want to mention this one thing. Uh, Kugi sent out some really disturbing tweets recently that uh, apparently someone on Teespring has just stolen all of his designs and opened a fake broken tier store. I don't even want to repeat the, the, the fake store yeah, name, basically. But they just stole all of their designs. And if you search for it, you're going to think that it's the right one. And they even ran advertisements. Right. And they basically stole like mo like most of Kugi's business for that yeah. time. So if you buy some Broken Tier shirts, make sure you get the real Broken Tier. The, like Teespring, the user should be Broken Tier. Yeah. Not Broken Tier dash anything or whatever. It's yeah. just, just Broken Tier. Broken yeah, tier, it's obviously so. not legal. It's yeah, just, of course. People are screwing around. I don't know what T. I don't know what Teespring can do about that. Like they can't like rescind their sales and give the money to Kugi or something. Well, they could like shut that. down the site. Soon. Right, but and that's then, but he's still gonna have lost the yeah, money from right. that period of time. So yeah, well, it's yeah. bad news for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, what else is going on in the world of anything else you got? Uh, I also have. Uh, so this I kind of want to announce is that next week, oh, okay, well, let's talk about this. Capcom Cup is going to host a 24-hour venue. Really? Coming up. Yeah, so they're going to have a 24-hour uh, venue. But also was announced was a special Japanese surprise for Super Turbo. Wait, did you say Canada Cup or Capcom Cup? Canada Cup. Oh, that makes way more sense. Okay. <laughs> Canada Cup. Canada Cup. Yeah, so here's the thing. Uh, they're going to have a 24, and they have a Japanese surprise. You remember last year they got uh, Matsuda, they got uh, Kusumundo out there, and uh, they got the other Honda player, um, Shogatsu. Shogatsu, out there. So they had some special guests. So this year they're going to have some other special guests. Uh, Daigo is joining the Street Fighter V 5v5 this year, and the Super Turbo teams for Japan. He's repping Japan hard this year. So there's going to be a Team Japan that's going on at Super Turbo. You know where that's going to be announced? Right here on the Ultra Chen TV show on Twitch on the Tuesday show next week. We should have the exclusive trailer for the uh, ST Japanese players who are showing up yeah. to Canada Cup. So you definitely want to tune in next week. We've literally never planned this far in advance before. <laughs> never. That's right. So they hopefully, you, yeah, you're going to find out that information next week on the Tuesday show. Yeah. So, and we'll probably try to talk to some of the guys who are setting up the event yeah. to talk about a bunch of things that's going over there. So sure. uh, I'm super happy about that. Me super too. Super happy about that. Very cool. So. Nice work to everybody. Yes. All right. Uh, what else is going on? Yeah, congrats so, to 
Biohazard for getting signed by Enix. Mm -hmm. And again, shout outs to Biohazard. He jumped into my Injustice stream a while ago. Trying to give me advice on what to do. I was in salt mode, so it was I was not listening one very in, well. Out, yeah. In, uh, in one well, in it was just other. one of those things. So here's the thing: when people give me advice when I'm in salt mode, I actually hear it all, but I get into excuse mode. Or like, but that doesn't work because blah blah blah. And meanwhile, in my brain is actually going, "It's a really good idea." I really? Think. Yeah, uh -huh, that happens a lot of the time. Oh, it's like, I mean, because I've definitely been with you where you're like, "No, it wouldn't ha work because X or Y," but. No, it actually. But in your head, you're like, it's actually I be doing processing. That? It does process. Like maybe not that clearly, but like trust me. Afterwards, like I'm like, okay. Oh, I need sure. It's, yeah, afterward, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, no, I actually hear it. Wow. I actually hear it. Like I used to do this with my brother all the time when we used to fight. He'd be like, "Why well, do you do this?" I'm like, "It gets not work. It's like it's super broken." He's like, "Try this. I'm like, that won't work because then they just do this." But in my brain, I'm like, "Okay, okay, okay. I gotta <laughs> figure this out. I gotta figure oh, this man. out." Oh man! All right. Yeah. That's just the way it is. But shout-outs to Biohazard. So sorry, uh, Matt Commandeur, of course. I, I love their last name. Sick last name. Yeah, yeah uh, but shout-outs to him. And obviously, like, huge congrats to the signing. Huge congrats yeah. to the signing. So. He just won VS Fighting? Yes. Uh, oh, it was one of the European we events. Yeah. Fighting. And uh, again, uh, like I said, man, if, like, Injustice is where it's at right now. Like, a lot of Injustice players are getting signed up. It's true. Big, a lot of them are getting picked up. And I'm telling you right now, the pool of Injustice players that are top level, and they're just as top as any other game, right? But they're still just quantity-wise, not quality-wise, quantity-wise, less of them. And so for you to get into that echelon is going to be a little bit... Like, you'll be able to place more consistently highly I'm in with tournaments. You. So I, I just really feel like this is the game to get into right now, to be honest. Uh, this is not James's brother. It's Honeybee's brother. Biohazard and Honeybee are brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, I did mention my brother. I did mention my brother. Oh, that brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, you're right. The you're one right. that you're I was right. fighting with. Yeah, yeah. That's my true. older brother. No, I mean, my older brother is the guy that I always give the example to why we need an arcade mode in fighting yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, same. My younger brother would yeah, be Yeah, because he loved fighting games growing up. Like I said, first UCLA tournament for Street Fighter Two, he got second place to only to one of the four Pico Rivera gods who was going to UCLA at the time. So my brother was super good, too. And he was even really close to beating that guy so much to the point that after he lost, the guy who won was like, what happened? Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, okay. And um, my brother was always super good, but movies is where his love is. And he has a family. He has two kids now. Yeah. And so for Street Fighter Four, he bought it and he loved doing Dudley combos. Like that was his obsession was to try to do all those stupid Dudley links and stuff. And he liked trying to do Seismo Viper feints and things like that, right? Even though his execution is not great. Yeah, he just really enjoyed doing that kind of stuff. And so all he would do was play in the arcade mode all day. And he would beat it. He would beat. He remembered who he beat it with, with every character. So he beat it with every character and get his fun out of that. That's but cool. he has no interest to play online. Like, he just doesn't want to play against people. Uh, and I totally people like get that. that. I yeah. totally get that. So. All right. So, what else do yeah. you got? I think there's maybe one more thing up there. Uh, I also had uh, <laughs> the Street Fighter IV Champion Edition on the phone has released Evo Ryu, Goken, and Guy as free DLC. Okay. And then, uh, speaking of another game that I know you care a large part about, they announced a new character for ARMS. Whoa, Lola Pa? Uh -huh, ARMS version 3. She's actually kind of cool. She's like a French clown kind of thing. Like, she inflates to block and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh, that's cool. And it looks that like she has, like, kind of, like, nunchuck arms or something like that, but, like, she speaks French and stuff like that, so. Wow. There you go. But it is Lola Pop is the name of the character, so. No. Okay. But it's also coming out released with a version 3 update. Look, one thing I will say about ARMS, regardless of what you think of the, the, the actual gameplay of it, like the creator is like going in, like he's he releases patch notes, like he's mm. trying super hard to make it as competitive as possible. Is it one dude? What one of the main guys, what, the the main producer guy. Like remember when um uh who was it who won uh at, at E three the tournament? Um uh, Shoot. But, you know, after you won, you got to play the producer, and then the producer yeah. basically destroyed everybody, right? Right, right. right. So, yeah. Um, this is Zurich. 
Uh, Zerk, yes, that's who it was. Yes, that's who it was. Yes. And, um, but yeah, then, uh, so he's really into it. But I mean, ARMS is just another one of those situations, again, where people are trying to, you know, turn games into esports before they're released and, mm -hmm. you know, before it's like we see what's going on with it, right? I mean, that's what a lot of people are mad about the Marvel thing. Yeah, right? I mean, you should plan for it, but don't yeah. force it. I mean, Injustice had put the tour yeah, in there beforehand sure. everywhere and everything like that. But, I mean, it is an issue. It is an issue for sure that lots of games are trying to do that, turn it into esports, you know, like For Honor, you know, trying very hard to make that esports and stuff like that. So, but there you go. Okay. All right, well, I think that's it for news. That's all I have for news, yes. Okay, so we've got, like, maybe another... Well, we could go on to, like, 10.30 or something like that if you want to do that. That's so fine. We can, we can do it for a little while. Let's take a quick break. Let's take a quick break, but... Uh, oh, oh, what about Chris T? We talked a lot about Chris T in Japan last week. Um, but in any case, uh, tweet some questions to us that you want us to answer. Um... At, uh, at Ultra Chen TV, and we will get to that during this break. So, oh, the three out of five for Street Fighter V. Oh, let's see that after we come back. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So tweet us some questions at, J uh, at Ultra Chen TV, and my shirt says, respect the classics, play your piano. It oh, is, that's so cool. Yeah, it's it, there was the, the, the play, the, she was basically a person who, like, they would, like, people would say, hey, I want you to make a piano arrangement for this song, right? So she did all these different things, and literally, like the guy who was, in, who was basically fielding all the questions, she would listen to the song for the first time, and two minutes later, just do this crazy 30-second rendition of it. Cool. And at one point, they did a Kickstarter for a, an 8-bit album, and like the version of the DuckTales Moon theme that she did was the most beautiful thing. Like, it's like, it was amazing. Cool. And so for the Kickstarter, one of the... Uh, 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 incentives there was that you could get a song requested, and I got her to do Cammy's theme for me. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. She man. actually did Cammy themes, so it was really cool. In any case, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Tweet questions at Ultra Chen TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> 